Hey guys, and welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Mercure 37C, also known as the slant bar. And I'll just show you that slant bar real fast. Um, let's see if I can focus. As you can see, it's going, it kind of comes down from the upper left to the bottom right on both sides. And that's why it's called a slant. Uh, when I first pulled it out, I wasn't expecting how much of a slant it was going to be, and it kind of just looked like the metal was uh, melted during the shipment. It got hot or something. It looked so funny, but it, obviously that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, let's talk about the weight and balance of this guy. It weighs 2.4 ounces on my scale, which is the same as the manufacturer says. Uh, the balance is about a half an inch below the headpiece, which makes it pretty easy to maneuver. I think it has a good good point of balance. It feels really good. Um, in, even though 2.4 ounces is not a lot of weight for a safety razor, it does have a shorter handle um, and a shorter overall, so it does feel hefty and well-crafted and manufactured. To me, it has a good weight to it. Um, let's talk about the grip. The grip is just a gritty metal feel to it, the same as the... Uh, classic 34C that I've also reviewed. It's very similar in a lot of regards, including the handle. They're both two-piece safety razor. The only difference is pretty much the headpiece, and this is a slant bar, and the 34C is just a straight bar. But, um, yeah, overall good grip. Uh, the knob at the bottom used to twist off. The The headpiece is has vertical grooves, so it adds additional grip, and it protrudes from the normal part of the handle a good amount so it adds a good amount of grip to it and lets you know where the end is which I like. Um, I just measured it, it measures in at 3.3 .3 inches and I have fairly large hands so uh, I prefer safety razors to be a little bit longer than that but for people with average size hands it should be okay. The only reason 3.3 is a little too short is because sometimes I like to use a grip where I just let it sit in my hand like that and that's the most comfortable for me and when I do that and have it have it resting on my pinky it pushes my index finger up pretty much to the head which which I don't like it should be down here but then I'm all crunched crunched up down here um, in terms of aggressiveness um, this safety razor is a lot different than most safety razors. Most safety razor aggressiveness is talking about the blade gap and and uh, the angle mostly. Let me see if I can focus. Okay. And yeah, this one, I would rate it about a 6 out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale. And a lot of people think it's higher just because it cuts the hair so so efficiently is a better word than aggressive because think about it when you're chopping vegetables with a knife if you try to go straight down it's a lot harder to cut than if you put it at a slight slant and kind of slice through it um, and that's what this is effectively doing when you're when you're pulling down or, or or pulling up on the hairs it's cutting them at an angle which is just more efficient it cuts them easier and it results in an easier shave and people think that's more aggressive, but it's really just more effective, in my opinion. Um, a couple things about it is it does dull blades a little bit faster than a straight bar safety razor, just because it is more effective. Um, it will I've noticed I get one or two less shaves per blade, which is not a really big deal, just because um, of how close of a shave you actually get with this. 37C. Um, it's a good it's a good safety razor for shaving on on the run. Kind of if you if you don't have too much time to shave, I would grab this guy. If you have you know multiple safety razors, I'd grab the 37C because with one pass you get a lot closer than you do with a straight bar, a typical straight bar razor. Um, it's also good for people that have thicker, tougher beards because this. The slant will cut through them a little bit easier than a straight bar. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it to a beginner. It does take a little bit of learning curve. If I was a beginner, I would start on a straight bar. Or when I started, I also started on a straight bar, and most people do. 
and that's what I recommend. Uh, in terms of blade replacement, um, let's talk about it. It is a two-piece safety razor, just like the 34C. So you just twist the knob at the end, and it's a very smooth mechanism. The headpiece comes off. I have a feather blade here, just to demonstrate. Yeah, the knob is very smooth for tightening, um, as well as loosening up. Uh, I could see it lasting a long time, just like the 34C, it's just built really well. Uh, you can see the blade gap right there, you can see the slant right there. Yeah, just overall, it's nice, uh, obviously. It's not as easy as a butterfly open safety racer, but um, it's easier than a three-piece safety racer. And it's also a lot easier to clean than a butterfly, but not as easy as a three-piece. Yeah, overall, I really like the safety razor. I think you guys will too, especially if you have a thicker beard or if you're looking for some, a really close shave. This is a good option for you. Uh, this is my review of the Mercure 37C. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And head over to primandprep.com. There should be a link floating around here. You can head to the original review article, or you can go check out other safety razor reviews or male grooming articles and information there. And yes, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be doing a lot more reviews and male grooming uh, videos in the future. Thanks, guys. Bye.